It's episode three of Unrest at Home. Today's schedule slightly up in the air because we haven't had the Champions League quarterfinal draw yet, but potentially we're playing Crystal Palace, Southampton and Stoke. So a reminder then of the situation in the table. We're seventh. We need to finish fifth minimum for me to keep my job and complete the challenge. We're five points off fifth place now. So we're in with a decent shout. Crystal Palace, who we take on in this episode, are actually second. So it's not going to be quite as easy a game as you'd expect. Drew got injured in the last game against Dortmund. So Welbeck moves up front from his left midfield position. And the Ox fills in for him out there as an inside forward. Bellerin finds Walcott to Ramsey to Ozil. And Welbeck holding it up. Welbeck still. Oh, and he just puts that wide. Monreal down the line Foxley Chamberlain still going with it really good finish 1-0 up 20 minutes in Deox now finds Welbeck Mandanda gets the save though Mustafi to Ramsey Walcott still going Walcott makes it 2-0 65 minutes in going to make a couple of changes going to bring Welbeck off I'm going to put Sanchez up top I didn't realise Welbeck was playing target man, so I need to change that. Complete forward for Sanchez. And we're going to bring Coquelin on for Ramsey. Walcott now on the break, nearing the 90th minute. Get the cross in, Sanchez puts that well wide. This looks like it's going to be a comfortable 2-0 home win. So we're now two points from Everton. They do have a game in hand over us though. But we are closing the gap and we're starting to put the pressure on the top five. So only one change. Sanchez comes back in on the left for the Ox. She only wins the header. Ozil finds Walcott. Ramsey well back to Sanchez to Ozil when he makes it 1-0. Here's Walcott now for Ramsey to Bellerin. Ramsey finds Xhaka well back. Turns Ozil gets his second of the game. Is this another chance before half time? Bellerin with the throw, finds Ozil to Ramsey, goes for the shot, is saved, but Xhaka makes it 3-0. We're absolutely cruise, cruising now. Southampton again though. Bertrand's going to get the cross in. Long's there, makes it 3-1. To make a couple of changes. Bring Clockerlan on for Ozil, dropping back into there. And I'm going to bring the Ox on for Sanchez, try and keep Sanchez fit. Oh, Van Dyke makes it 3 2. Oh. Are we going to throw this away? Here's Ramsey. Back to Cochrane. Ramsey forward for Oxley. Chamberlain. Well back. It's saved though. Oh, he can't get the rebound. Southampton pushing forward again. Gabbiadini. Bellerin clears away. Van Dyke's got it. Finds Bertrand. He's through. Check and hold on. From 3 0 up. This is starting to get a bit nervous now. In the last couple of minutes, just need to see this out, get the three points. Shouldn't have been in this position from being 3 0 up. But Ox finds Welbeck. Here's Xhaka. That's a corner. Hopefully. There we go, there's a full time whistle. So this is a massive game to end the episode. We're at home playing Stoker in fifth place now. We're down to seventh. If you look at the table, we're five points. Off Stoke, we've played the same amount of games. We've got Everton in between us. We've actually played the game more than us now. So we could really get ourselves within touching distance of fifth place with a win today. Luckily, no major concerns following the international games. The players have all been away on. Cochrane does come in for Ramsey, who is very tired. Stoke with a free kick. Allen to take. And out of which Berahino's fouled. This is in a dangerous position. Berahino takes a deflection. Oh no, they've given a penalty. Koscielny is getting the yellow card. Berahino to take. Oh, and he makes it 1-0 to Stoke. Sanchez finds Ozil to Welbeck. To Welbeck. Ah oh, yes, it was that San Ozil scores. That's his 10th of the season. 1-1. Monreal bringing it down the left, finds Xhaka for Coquelin. Ozil, quick ball for Sanchez, but he can't finish. Here's an Altovic. Oh, and he gives another penalty. 
What's going on? Cocklin this time. Berahino. Going to get his second of the game. Steps up. No mistake. Check doesn't even move. Johnson with a throw. Mustafi wins it though. Cocklin finds Ozil. Well back. Sanchez. Oh, and it's just blocked. Yeah. We're an hour in now. And I need to change something up. Let's push Sanchez and Walcott right up. Ozil in just behind. Cocklin and Xhaka both as holding midfielders. Xhaka in for Ozil. Sanchez to Welbeck. Can't score though. It's hacked away. Oh, and Anatovic is off. We've got a free kick. Stoker down to 10 men. Can we make it pay? Bring Sanchez in. It's an out and out striker. And Walcott. Ozil playing the corner. It's cleared away though. Ozil again. It's cleared away by Johnson off the line. All hands on deck for Stoke. Got to try and find an equaliser from somewhere. Time's running out now if we're going to get an equaliser. Shakiri Bellerin wins it though. Plays it in quick. It's cleared away. Some pressure on him then. It's Berahino. He's on a hat trick. Time's running out now. Doesn't look like we're going to get back into this game. Stoke just playing it around. Monreal and there goes the final whistle. We lose our first game. That was a big one to lose as well. Theo Walcott has blamed the recent dip in form on manager Fuddled Fox. I wouldn't say we've had any recent dip, dip in form. Say there's no in issues between us. Board are happy with how I've handled it. So taking a look at the table, we're now seven points behind fifth place. That was a big blow, losing that game to Stoke. First loss in charge. Take a quick look at the fixtures. We've drawn Barcelona in the quarterfinals of the Champions League, so both legs will be in the next episode. And also the Premier League games against Swansea and Sunderland. So if you've enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you want to see more. I'm Fogled Fox FM. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.